all our children are known by by every parent and grandparent here and uh, when a tragedy like this occurs it affects everyone. Rob Mardell was at his auto shop last Friday morning when a passerby asked him what was going on a few blocks away. A home on Railway Avenue had become a police scene so Mardell went to take a look. First thing this morning there was a forensic team there and uh, then later on they, uh, there was a, a funeral home uh, vehicle there so I knew there had been a, a death. Mardell is the mayor of Choiceland and says he knows the family's affected. He extended his support once he learned who was involved. I found out that the gentleman that owned the house was alive and grieving with his family. So I went to the family to see if there was anything the community could do for them. Police say the 37-year-old woman was murdered at a home on this block of Main Street, Choiceland. The woman's identity has not been released and the accused can't be identified under the Youth Criminal Justice Act. The RCMP did not say what the relationship is between the young person and the woman. In an unrelated case, defense lawyer Aaron Fox represented the team responsible for the Lalosh school shootings of 2016. He says the criminal charged against the youth in Choiceland could change over time. Certainly the youth background, um, history, relationship, um, things like intellectual ability, uh, alcohol and drugs involved, all of the usual things. No idea what or any of that plays here, but they'll look at all of that. This isn't the first time Choiceland has experienced a tragedy involving youth. Five years ago, seven-year-old Nia Eastman was the victim of a murder-suicide committed by her father. Mardell was the mayor back then, too. Unfortunately, this community has seen tragedy before, and uh, uh, we use everybody else to, to gather strength from and we lean on each other as much as we can and, and hopefully we can, with time, we can get past this, uh, this um, event as well. The youth charged with murder in Choiceland made his first court appearance over the phone today. Guy Kenville, CBC News, Saskatoon.